Qantas Flight 32 is making a refueling stop in Singapore. The Airbus A380 is more than halfway through a marathon 22-hour flight, all the way from London to Sydney, Australia. After two hours on the ground, the crew is nearly ready to get the plane back in the air. Very few pilots are trained to captain an A380. Former fighter pilot Richard de Crepney is in that elite rank. Everyone ready for takeoff? The A380 is the latest generation of innovation, automation, and excellence. And it's the largest, most complex aircraft in the sky. The main duty on this flight for First Officer Matt Hicks is to monitor the vast number of electronic gauges and computer displays needed to fly this state-of-the-art plane. The gigantic A380 is a true double-decker, the first jet ever built with two decks running the entire length of the plane. It dwarfs every other airliner in the sky, with enough space for as many as 525 passengers. I hadn't realized the norm. Thrust set, 80 knots. The more automated aircraft get, it doesn't necessarily make them easier to fly. Uh, it just makes them different to fly. The A380 is powered by four massive Rolls-Royce engines. Each can deliver 72,000 pounds of thrust. They design wonderful engines, very reliable. V1, rotate. At 9.57 a.m. local time, Qantas 32 lifts off right on schedule. Passengers get a unique view of the takeoff, thanks to a camera mounted on the A380's tail. There are 250,000 sensors monitoring every flight function on the aircraft. Autopilot. On. This is by far the most automated passenger jet in the skies. Climb our checklist, please. Uh, auto thrust is set and ECAM is clear. The ECAM, or Electronic Centralized Aircraft Monitor, keeps watch over the myriad of onboard systems and alerts the crew to even the slightest malfunction. It's 10.01 a.m. The pilots are just four minutes into the flight. We're losing an engine. Number two. Holding 7,400 feet. De Crepney wastes no time taking over control from the autopilot. 35 years of flying tells him what to do next. I press the altitude hold button, which will cause the nose to lower and the aircraft level. Matt, ECAM actions. On it. The captain assigns Hicks to decipher the ECAM data. He needs to evaluate every message and figure out how best to react to each one. 